Good morning. Dignitaries on the dais, member Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and friends. I have been instructed by Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry to share my journey. This is not the subject of the day, but I have been instructed by them. So, <clears throat> it's a privilege for me to be here to address you. And for that, I am very grateful to Bengal Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I am coming from a small town called Jamshedpur. My family had business of reselling of footwear of different brands in Jamshedpur. But I was not happy with that. I decided to establish my own brand, and so I came to Calcutta. In the year 1986, November, I had a deal with a Chinese gentleman who used to run a store on Lince Street. <clears throat> Name of the man was Michael, and he asked for a price for the, his tenanted premises. I agreed to that price. But simultaneously, I told him, Michael, I agree to your price, but I won't be able to make the payment. I need some time. After a couple of minutes, Michael came forward with the key of the store and said, Satin, this is the key. Now onward, this is your, and whenever you feel like, you make the payment. But along with this, Michael requested me to take one of his staff who was working there, a Chinese old gentleman in the name of Casey Lo. And Michael said, you have to pay 600 rupees per month to him. 600 rupees is not very big amount, but on that particular moment, I thought it's a big burden for me. In any case, I didn't have any choice, so I took the key, I started living there because I didn't have a place to stay in Calcutta. I initially, I used to sleep on the floor on Lince Street, and Mr. Lowe, he had a folding bed, <coughs> and he used to sleep there. Uh, along with us, there's a lot of cat and rats were living together. And I didn't find any in my life, those cats and rats were so friendly. They never disturb each other. I came to Calcutta with a T-shirt and corduroy pant. There's in the premises, there was no washroom or no toilet. There's a low height tap of corporation where I used to take bath and I used to wash my clothes. I started living there and I used to take my dinner to Babu Ghat. There was some Palwan who used to cook food for themselves and I used to go walking from Lincestry to there to have my dinner. Against one rupee, they used to provide me some rotis and sabjis. <coughs> After a couple of months, I received my first consignment of fruit air of seven pairs. After three months, I sold what rupees of one pair of shoes of 69 rupees to a lady in base color. Within a year time, I sold rupees 300 rupees and I was very happy. And early 90s, there was queue in front of Sri And today, that is world's largest <coughs> single band footwear and accessory stores. <clears throat> In this period, I decided to marry somebody. On 
9th March, from Linsey Street, I been to Southern Avenue to marry my wife. After marrying her, I don't know where to take because I don't have a place to live, place to stay. One of our friends who is sitting here, G.K. Fosdar and his wife came forward to rescue me. They have taken my wife and give shelter to her. And one of my another friend who was in Jamshedpur, who was professor in XLRI, he was here. He took me to his hotel in Great Eastern Hotel. I stayed in a few days with him. This is the way I started my career in Calcutta. I am very lucky to have help from several people. One Mr. Ashok Dasgupta, of editor of Aajkal, who always guided me, helped me, and protected me. In this way, Ashok Dasgupta, Professor Narayan Mukherjee of XLRI, Professor Johar Shah of IIM Ahmedabad, <coughs> Subroto Sengupto, a doyen of advertising and marketing, and several other people have helped me out of the way. We know behind this success, there was a contribution of our vendors. Today, we have 300 dedicated vendors. And these vendors also started very humble way long back with us. Most of these people was producing their shoes in a small room where they used to live also. Now, several of these people have got very large factory, working hundreds of people. At the same time, <coughs> they have grown financially and otherwise also like their children became very highly educated. Some of the People's children are MBAs, chartered accountant, medical practitioners, and so on. And this was possible because most of these people were successful. Uh, and this MSME was success, I believe, because of two reasons which we have provided. I think to succeed any small scale industries or business, very important thing is only two things. I won't say only two things, but two things is most important and which we have provided. That is, one is order, uh, other one is payment. We have a policy to place order all the 300 vendors every week. And we have a policy to make payment immediately after receiving goods. And that has helped us to <coughs> make our business success, and definitely that was the reason for success of our vendors. And today, most of them are very successful. Very negligible percent of people have dis <coughs> discontinued, but they were successful because of these two support. One is money, other one is order. With these, I like to thanks once again to Bengal. Chamber of Commerce and Industry for giving me this opportunity. I like to give you all thanks to giving me patient here. Thank you very much.